Okay, so this is uh, my review two of my Specialized Diverge 2007. Um, I've done a couple of trips to work and back, and uh, yeah, there's a, a continuing saga regarding the, uh, the actual purchase of uh, the bike through Evans. Um, unfortunately, uh, their build quality is not uh, what I expected. Um, I've had various problems. Um, I outlined some, of, I outlined some of them in my last video um, regarding the uh, the brake cable that was far too long that I had to adjust. Um, the fingerprints all over the bike, all over the frame. Uh, the very poorly adjusted uh, derailleurs. Uh, the gears were were fouling, uh, particularly the front one. The front radio was not uh, adjusted properly. Um, so it's it's been a bit of a uh, bit of a disappointing experience through uh, through Evans. Um, so I've taken uh, the, uh, the the view that um, they're not capable of setting it up correctly. So I shall do it myself. Uh, one of the things that I did notice. Um, which I'll, uh, I'll show in a photo um, in the video, is their strange routing of the rear brake cable. Um, I'll put a photo up so you can have a look. And I shall put down a photo of uh, my rerouted cable, which is... Uh, Hopefully, you can see this. Uh, a much better position where by the outer casing doesn't foul on the front trailer cable. Come on guys, this is not rocket science, you're supposed to be qualified. Um, however, uh, I think that my routing is better than yours. There we go, hope you can see that. It's no longer fouling on the cable. Okay, so uh, it's been it's taken me a little while to do because it meant that uh, I had to take the, the brake cable off the uh, off the caliper and uh, uh, reroute it, and then uh, cable tight back on. Um, so the uh, whilst the, the actual specialised bike itself, I'm I'm quite pleased with. Um, you know, it is nice and, and light and nippy and nimble. Um, the actual service that I've had from Evans has been shocking and uh, I wouldn't recommend buying anything from them um, unless you actually stand over their shoulder whilst they build it and uh, make sure that they do everything correctly. Um, the other thing to remember is as soon as you leave the store if you touch the bike in any way, um, you basically invalidate um, their um, terms and conditions. So they they will blame you for everything that uh, that is not right on it, um, which is is very disappointing. Anyway, I shall uh, finish off uh, putting the the cable ties on and clipping it all up, making it all look nice so I can use it uh, tomorrow. Okay, cheers, bye.